Dude, I got a special surprise for you. I'm gonna show you my load. Boom, there it is. My load, I'm bobtailing. Y'all know what it is, bro. Y'all know already know, man. Now, if I say, if I say I'm on a bobtail, y'all tell me where to bobtail. Y'all pay me two something a mile to bobtail. I'll bobtail anywhere. Y'all want me to, you want me to bobtail to California just to run around and deliver pizzas? I'll freaking bobtail and I'll freaking deliver pizzas at two something a mile, bro. What y'all want to know? All right, bro. I'm going to get in my truck. Let's get the day started. We're taking it all the way this time, baby. Rock with me, baby. Rock with me. <laughs> Best bet would have probably been to run a small load, come over here, pick up this loaded trailer the next day, and then rock it. But it's all good, baby. It's all good. Maybe something will come up, man. Maybe they need a desperate need of a uh, load later on tonight. I'll kind of keep a watch on it and see what's going on. I'm over here at Hen House Restaurant in St. Louis, around St. Louis area. Parked here, I'm Bobtail. Uh, load picks up tomorrow at 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, dude, I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff on my truck tomorrow morning. Um, I was hoping to pick up, I thought this was gonna be an empty, but it's actually a loaded trailer, so it, it's got a pretty scheduled time. So we're gonna we're gonna get back to this tomorrow morning, and uh, yeah, we're gonna rock out. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast in here, probably see what's going on, man. See if they got anything good for us, and uh, yeah, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Hey, what's up, guys? This is a quick commercial. This video has been sponsored by me, Wildbeard. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel out, man, every time y'all comment, every time y'all like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Ring the bell. Make sure you hit all on the bell. And it just, all of it just really helps. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it means a lot to me, seriously. Y'all, y'all are the best, man, seriously. Back to the video now. <laughs> What's up, dudes? I'm gonna eat some breakfast, bro, at this place. We'll see how good it is. I don't remember the name of it, but there's trucks parked all over the parking lot over here, man, blocking people in and stuff. And like last night, bro, there was like this huge billboard light that just was like, like blowing in here, man. Let's get some breakfast. Let's get some coffee rolling in us, man. Be running this afternoon and then, you know, into like midnight tomorrow morning I guess 
And uh, that's two loads, you know, that kind of helps up the, the charge on the load, so. Anyway. Yeah, bro. All right, man. Let's do this. Backed up underneath the trailer. Here is my app, my GeoTab app, right there. So I'm on duty. This right here is my uh, GeoTab tracker device thing, man. I gotta move out of the way. I gotta move out of the way, bro. I'm blocking everybody. Yeah. Like I was saying, bro. Um, that's my GeoTab app. Here's the Amazon. They scan that code, checks you in and out. You verify the trailer ID. I'm gonna shut these doors and we're gonna get out of here and go to Kansas City, baby! Let's rock it! So here we are, picked up in Lenexa, headed to uh, Iowa. And then coming back down, dude. They got it ready two hours early. It's ready to go, man. That means my day's gonna be earlier. I'm gonna be done earlier. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, bro. Like, fast. You know what I mean? Fast, dude. And that means something to me, bro. Like, when they get loads done early. But, dude, I like it. Just like this, man. Boom, boom, boom. No waiting around. Just let's get this load. Let's get it going and get it done. You know what I mean? Are they always this early, bro? No. Sometimes it's like the last second uh, before the departure time. But it's always on schedule. And it's always like either early or on schedule, dude. And that's what I like, bro. That's the kind of stuff I like, man. So that's just a side note in all this.
What's up guys? So I'm here. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, man. But over there is the Kansas Speedway and they're having like races and stuff, man. It's pretty loud. I'm gonna spend the night here. There's a Coles back here. But I wanna show you guys this man right here. There were some little dudes over here at the Coles. I was going like right by the door and they were they were sitting outside and uh set my tools down. They were going they were sitting outside and they started doing this, bro. <laughs> and dude, right in front of Coles, bro. I was like, -na 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 -na. like dude, you know I'm gonna honk that horn, bro. I don't care. So check this out, man. We have a uh unstable it's flipped out bro compared to this one over here so I'm gonna fix that man and then I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to bed and get back up at 4 in the morning pull this load it's gonna be a short load like 30 miles $250 but it's Sunday tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go to church bro cuz I need to be at church man and uh, I'm still looking for a really great church I think I found one bro but I don't know, I'm still looking. What's up guys? So I finally got this changed off. This is the mud flat bracket. Um, when it was a uh, bent and it kind of semi broke then, I was trying to change it out and I finished it off, as you would say. So I took it down to the Petro, the Iowa 7D Petro, and I had them put a new one on and it uh, cost like $144, which I'll uh, definitely write out on my taxes. So. But yeah, man, so I spent the night in that Coles parking lot, man. I wanted to tell you guys this too, man. I spent the night in that Coles parking lot. I heard these voices outside my truck and I hadn't even gone to bed yet. Like I was still up. And uh, dude, I look outside my little curtain, man. And there's this little middle age, middle school, early high school age girl climbing up on the truck. And like, she was like looking in the mirror right there, man. And there was probably like four or five of them out, like walking around the truck in the parking lot. <laughs> And dude, I like took my air horn and like honked it, dude. And she like got so scared, bro. She like jumped and like hit her head up against the window, bro. And uh, ran off, man. All four or five of them ran off. So, but I thought that was pretty funny. All right, man. So let's summarize this week up, man. Like, dude, I bobtailed a ton this week. Dude, Amazon Freight, man. A lot of times what they're going to be telling you to do, like if you're already committed on the load and you've already started on a load, and something else cancels or something else goes amiss they're not gonna penalize you they're gonna have you bobtail and they're gonna pay you to bobtail and so like my fuel mileage this week has been 8.8 .8 miles to the gallon and with fuel being so cheap uh, you know I'm not gonna say it's cheap because it's still an expense which makes it expensive I just feel like I've saved a lot of money from bobtail and getting great fuel mileage the loads are light anyway seven eight thousand pounds the highest load I ever had was like almost 11,000 pounds with Amazon Freight but uh, dude it's been a good week and I'm really thankful to be back out on the road and uh, it's just been really good man I feel really blessed to be here so until next time y'all y'all already know what's up Wild Beard out <laughs>